Legend of Tenobor here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster battle playing as Clan Scryer, going up against Malekith, where he's bringing more than two full stacks against us here. I'm actually dumbfounded that the Order Resolve says Valiant Defeat here. We are way more outpowered than what it's letting on. It might just simply be because we've got a lot of experience in all of our units here, but one of the problems with this army is that there is no front line whatsoever, and there's no Plague Priests. So how are you going to stop these guys from getting to your front line? It's an essential part of the... Uh, of the weapon team Doomstack. Now, while he does have more firepower in this army than what we would normally have, it's not going to compensate from being able to delay them at all. So we're going to need to order as many men as blows as possible. And I'm actually really annoyed that he's on the Doom Wheel instead of the uh, the um, the Doom Flayer because I need to run around and uh, be annoying here. And this is going to be harder to dodge the Dark Shards ammunition with. But I'll see that what I can do with this. We're going to need to pull out some serious micro with uh, with Ikit Claw. These guys here can mostly just be on autopilot. Uh, but yeah, we've if all of these armies come at us all at the same time, which there's no way for me to deny their reinforcements, I don't see how we can overcome it, especially given all these flying units here. We do have Howling Warp Gale, it's actually times three, but it's not going to be enough. That's standard... Like, my usual weapons team army with Plague Priests might be able to handle this much. Of course, I always tell people to be the attacker, but oh, this map here is also awful. Look at all the trees in the way. This is really bad. There's no way to retreat either. Hmm. See, if the trees weren't in the way, I'd set up over here, but those trees are going to block all of our shots. Every advantage is on the Dark Elf side. That order resolve is out of its mind. Hmm. And the AI always goes super wide, so if we set up over here, they're going to surround us. But I don't see any other choice. If we set up over here... See, the whole point of corner camping is so they don't come at us super wide, making it a lot easier to dish out damage. But if they've got trees in the way there, it's just going to block all their shots. From here, we'll have at least a decent amount of firing line, but they're going to come at us from the sides over here. Which means we'll have to scatter our shots, which means that we're not going to have the concentration that we want to have. And since we have no front line whatsoever, don't forget, with a Skaven Weapons Team army, it only takes one unit to defeat it. Just one! <laughs> Just one unit has to get in here, because these guys have no melee capabilities whatsoever. These guys here are going to have to be the front line. I don't have any choice here. This is just... Just fucked. How is the order resolve says Valiant Defeat? This is why you shouldn't really, like, trust the order resolve. Even on very hard battle difficulty, it doesn't mean anything. And the order resolve is really favorable to the player these days. It's like the opposite of what it was like in beginning of Warhammer 3. Alright, well, I'll do the best I can. If anyone's going to get wrecked, let it be the Poison Wind Globideers. And we just have to try to make sure they don't go around the side here by being as annoying as possible. I'm not really sure what else I can do. I need to move as far back as possible. And, uh, I'll just see what I can do. Which probably isn't going to be all that much, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and the AI will be stupid. Which... The, the, the conditions for this situation don't lead us to have an opportunity to make them stupid. See, a lot of the times I'm forcing the AI to do stupid stuff, but I don't have that opportunity here. See, if they go wide around here, we're absolutely boned. Spreading out our forces isn't going to do anything either. Okay. Well... What are we going to do about this? That was stupid. Uh, let's get... Let's get cracks. Oh, that's pretty expensive. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, this is why we won the Doom Flayer. They can't hit us on that. 16 wins of magic. Mm. Yeah, use this one because it's cheap. Really cheap. Let's get Malachus chasing after us. Yep, yep, yep. That did a bit of damage. That's good. 
Come at Lucas. Come at me. Okay, that's good. Waste your magic. Right, come on, Malachus, come at me. I need to get him over here early. The sooner we get Malachus to do this, the better. No, 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 he's pretty quick. Alright, let's get another one of these casts in. Really want to try to make sure we kill the Dark Shards. I think they're going to be the biggest problem. Mm. Yeah, he's not being as stupid as what we've seen him in other battles. Okay, we're at the same speed. That's it. Come on, Malakuth. This way. Eat my ass. Because at least I can regenerate. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You can do it. What's coming down here? Whatever it is, it's going to miss. That, yeah, piercing bolts are burning. Was that overcasted? I don't know. Whatever's wasting their magic, that's good. But come on. At least we're doing some damage to Malakuth. So that's good. There's Flensing Ruin as well. It's pretty expensive on Winds of Magic, but we really need to get rid of Malika. And he's got a lot of spell res Actually, he's got no spell resistance. So, I've got Howling Warp Gale. Okay, the reinforcements are coming. Let's see if we can just get him to come at us. Seems to have derped out a little bit. I'm really not sure what's going on there. Okay, well he cancelled my cast. They're burning through them winds of magic pretty quickly. Cool. How the hell are we going to... <laughs> How the hell are we going to deal with this? If we could have denied enemy reinforcements, that would have been one thing. How the hell are we going to deal with this? Alright, we're going to need a nuke. But when? There's an okay opportunity popping up about now. It's not fantastic. Nah, it's got to wait for something better. Don't use up the menace blows just yet. It's like I said, if we can get them all to clump up, that's going to be highly valuable. Down there. For some reason, they're not advancing yet, so that's something I wasn't expecting, considering their reinforcements have now arrived. Come on, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Come on, don't get stuck on the damn trees. Come on, move, 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 move. Let's go, bring him in. Took a little bit of damage there, but that's okay. Alright, they're starting to come in. We're definitely going to need to use the Doom Rocket. There's, okay, look, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, especially on all those missile units. Just wait a second, there's a whole bunch more coming in. Alright, do it there. Alright. Uh, I was off the fucking mark, you bitch. But it's still... Actually, actually no, that kind of worked for us. You know what? That was alright. And you know what? They are being stupid. Maybe that's where the order resolve was like, yeah, your army doesn't normally stand a chance, but we're going to make the AI just constantly reform over and over again, so you're going to have all this opportunity to smash them. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't think I'd get this much opportunity. He keeps overcasting. Malika's already nearly down to half health. Ikaclaw kind of has unlimited winds of magic with this, because that generates more reserves. And if we have a look, he's already done a lot of damage. We've already used up our nuke as well. They can see our army, apart from the Gisele, so I really don't know what's going on here. Still got reserves in there as well. Boy, oh boy, the AI is dumb. Alright, looks like Malekith might actually want to come at us now. Like, properly. What are you doing? Oh, that might be just trying to slow us down. Eh, it's not a very good use of Winds of Magic just to slow me down, but whatever. 
Alright, good. We finally got Malekith coming over here. He's worth a lot of balance of power. And that's one of the reasons why I thought that the Order Resolver was out of its mind, thinking that uh, Malekith being on the battlefield wasn't going to have a huge impact. Which, we are about to take that away. If he gets killed by these Ratna Guns and Giselles really early, that'll make a big difference. Alright, don't shoot those just yet. That's not going to do anything. Who are you fucking aiming for? Bloody rat! Okay, just wait, and... Okay, since they're being shot, let's do that. What is going on with this? It is on very hard battle difficulty. Not that that matters. Well, Malik is fucked. Okay. Well, that's an important part in... Smashing these guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, you're not allowed to leave the battlefield. No, 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 no. No, you don't get to withdraw. You have to die. I'll use Flensing Ruin if I absolutely have to, but I'd prefer not to. If we could just hope this guy here hits with this last shot. There we go. Because like I said, Flensing Ruin is just not a good use of Winds of Magic. Good. Okay, well... I'll be honest with you, I thought I was fucked from the get-go, but thanks to... Oh, dog's barking. Cheering me on. Uh, but due to the just sheer AI stupidity here, which I... You know, sometimes you can count on, sometimes you can't, and this is one of those situations where I wasn't counting on it. Well, I wasn't expecting it, but I was counting on it, I guess. <laughs> and what are they doing? What on earth are they doing? Alright, there are quite a lot of single entities around here. So I'm going to pop down that Flensing Ruin, which is reasonably good against single entities. So we can see here, that damage is... Yeah, it's it's doing some. Alright, now they seem to want to come at us. No, they're... <laughs> no, they're like... They're on the attack, mind you. Alright, let's just chuck this in there. What are they fucking doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh no, it's one rat! Run! <laughs> okay, I'm not so worried anymore. I'm not so worried. It's still, there's still a lot of units here. And there's a lot of flying units, but the ground units are not really... Don't worry about that one too much, because... Yeah, alright, put that down there. Alright, let's just draw some more over here. What is, what is going on with this battle? We're not the attacker. That's it. Yeah, bring in the Manticore over here nice and early. That's going to be really good. And yeah, don't use... Is it... Hang on, hang on. I don't care about the Doomfire Warlocks that much. No, no. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Alright, you can just fight that. So, second Wind Serum. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. They've got um, Dark Conduit. <laughs> so, that's, that's very powerful in order resolve. What are they fucking doing? Okay, they're finally advancing. Alright. Oh, okay, we're almost set out. Regen cap there. Okay, well... So I need it to stand still. Got that one as well, so that I can actually hit it with these damn shots. Actually, that didn't last very long. Let's do it again. Maybe I should have overcasted it. I'll do it this time. It's 
Good to see this one here getting slaughtered. Keep that up. Yeah, Overcast at Howling Wolf Gale gives you a good amount of time with this. And it's good they're sort of all coming in from the front. Even from here, they're still advancing. They're not going too wide. Over here is a bit of a problem. We're going to have to do something about that at some point. Gonna need to generate as much winds of magic as we possibly can. So keep that up. What's going on here? Why do these guys keep taking damage? Oh, the Gisales are shooting them in the back. Okay, um, go around the side here. Not really that mad about it, because the Gisales have honestly been doing a great job. I just didn't realize they were doing it. Also aware these guys here aren't on fire at will, but they don't have exactly amazing targets at the moment. Go for this one here. Oh, they might not have good terrain or something there. Okay, we got problems over here. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe you two don't shoot either. Just a lot of single entities. It's not worth wasting that ammo. It only hurt us rather than help. Just because you've got ammunition doesn't mean you need to use it. Okay. Flying units. Can't overcast that with Icket. Okay. Hold that one down there so this one he can move up and shoot. Oh my god. What is this one doing? It's not even shooting. <laughs> what the hell? They actually got me there. Surprised me. And then. What is going on in this battle? We may actually end up inflicting the army losses before they arrive. How do we go over here? Oh, they just ran straight through for some reason. Right, they are starting to advance. Okay, put that behind them, see if that does anything. Okay, you guys, fire at will. Yep. Most of their infantry are bloody gone anyway. Hold them back where we can. Alright, you guys may now fire at will again. If you're going to fire at anything, shoot the ones over this way. Need more power. And we inflicted. I can't believe we fucking won this. I can't believe we won it so cleanly as well. I looked at this and I was like, look, you never know what's going to happen with these kind of fights. I'll give it a shot because sometimes the AI is stupid, but this was a whole other level of stupid. Legend, the AI in Warhammer 3 is totally better than Warhammer 2. What are you being so mean to the developers for? The, I had no right winning this battle. If this was commanded by a player, no chance. Absolutely none. Even just like a person who put five hours into the game. Pull, pull someone straight off the street and you'd tell them just make one command, just tell them all to just straight up attack, it would have done better than this. Alright, we'll see if we can kill some of these war hydras. Uh, yeah, we'll use Flensing Ruin, just to do a bit of damage. Actually, I should have tied it to the uh, unit there. I didn't even need that many metas belows. Jeez. I'm dumbfounded by the level of stupidity here. Well, you know, won the battle. I didn't read out the email. He said, I uh, got myself into a pretty annoying situation. I force marched Icket behind Dark Elf territory and obviously got attacked by three full stacks. I tried a couple of times and got close to winning every time. So he definitely attempted this battle. Managed to easily decimate most of the infantry with Icket and kill Malekith, but I just cannot deal with the War Hydras. I just do not have the micro necessary to win this, but I'm thinking you might. This... I don't know... Okay. 
he obviously fought the battle. But maybe what happened with him, maybe he didn't send Ikit up front, and maybe what I did to begin with, with the Scorchers and luring Malekith away, sort of triggered the AI to lose like 100 points of IQ. So maybe just something that I did at the start, it just derailed the AI's processes. Because yeah, I was, that was unusual for me as well. I'm used to the AI being like a degree of stupid, but having that much force and their reinforcements having arrived and just twiddling their thumbs, just wasting time. That won us the battle, but I, don't, I actually don't know what I did to cause that. But you know, the end result is the battle is saved. That's the whole purpose of me being here. And, you know, I didn't do anything that cheesy. I just set Ikaclaw out, which is what I would always do with a, a lord that has any kind of speed, spell cast especially. Go out and harass the enemy, especially before their reinforcement shot. Gotta thin them out. I didn't force them to constantly just reform and to blob up and so that I could pop down a nuke on top of them like that. I didn't force Malekith to... I mean, I definitely lured Malekith into a trap, but I didn't force him to go and do that. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, that's that situation solved, I think. Let's just get through the rest of the tent. Should we get the healing? How you got for money? You're fine. You're fine for money. <laughs> oh, yeah, your campaign is not a disaster. Yeah. Okay, you know what? You know, just, just forget it. Your campaign's fine. This was just one battle that you needed to win. You're going for full map completion, that's fine. Just I just rarely see that, that's all. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something. I didn't learn anything. I don't know what caused this, but if, if you're going to take anything away from this, is that it's always very useful to send your fast characters at the very beginning of the battle to cause harassment, to go and cast spells to try to lure the enemy into unfavorable positions as much as humanly possible. Sometimes they just don't take the bait, but sometimes you can enter situations like this where the AI just sort of falls on their own sword. They had everything that they needed to absolutely destroy us there. They only needed one unit to close in on our forces and they would have absolutely wrecked us and I wouldn't have been able to cause the army losses. But for some reason, they just didn't capitalize on their advantage. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time. Later guys, bye.